Peace and love, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to all my emperors and my empresses and to anyone that's new here. Welcome. You're in the right place. Um, please make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified of any uploads and also to learn of any of my random chats that I may be doing as well as my usual Sunday chat at 4 p.m. Central Time. Uh, today, I want to talk to the people that are just starting off because I know I, I've done a video about it before, but I want to be perfectly clear because I have, you know, I am in different groups and I have been asked questions and I do see um, a lot of answers and stuff that people are given that is, is not correct. Um, I'm just going to, I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible. I really am. When you're starting off, some of the things that you need to know is, and this is not an opinion, these are our facts. Again, I have, I'm a licensed cosmetologist to those who don't know. Again, I say that all the time because a lot of people are new to the channel. Um, I've been licensed since 1988, so I know a lot about hair care, natural and chemically treated. I was a color specialist as well as, um, you know, I kept people's hair on their head for a living. You know, I also could style pretty good too. <laughs> but the main thing was, you know, keeping healthy hair, maintaining healthy hair, and which I still like to talk about, you know, because it's very pertinent to me, you know, that you maintain healthy hair on your head. I don't like to see anybody with no edges and um, bald spots or traction alopecia that can be avoided. Now it's different, you know, when it can't be avoided as far as, um, you know, like some medical problems or what have you, stress or medications or, you know, after having a baby, some people have shedding or lose hair around their edges or whatever, you know, that's different. But when you can do something correctly and know the right way of doing things, you know, I feel like it's my duty to come in and, and tell the truth about things. You will get a lot of misinformation, going to a lot of different um, rooms and stuff, especially like on Facebook, I've noticed. Um, and from, if you ask 10 people the same question, it doesn't matter if you're on YouTube or whatever, you will get different answers. So you need to be very mindful of knowing that, you know, a lot of people are sitting behind computers or cameras or whatever and may not have like any more than any more knowledge about hair than you do. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just being open and honest about it. And then there's those that that truly do. It's a lot of people out here that that definitely do and definitely want you to be able to maintain hair on your head, and not trying to sell you a product or not trying to sell you a service or whatever. Um, but genuinely care. And those that are still, you know, that are lacticians or whatever that are doing hair and, and do offer their services or whatever. I'm not I'm not knocking them at all, you know. Make sure, you know, that you're, you're doing your research and seeing how does their hair look, you know, if their hair looks healthy and it's something, you know, and, and if you meet them and the vibe is good and the energy is good, you know, so be it, you know. But one thing that I do know is that starting off your journey, a lot of people have these questions. It's like, when do I, when should I wash my hair? You know, and it's just like... That never changes. That never changes. However, however you were cleansing your hair before is how you should do it now. I mean, however, however often you should do it the same, you know, depending on your activities, depending on where you live, depending on the climate, depending on um, where you work. You know, all of that plays part of, do you work out every day? You know, do you sweat a lot in your scalp? You know, do you, your hair produce, I mean, your scalp produce a lot of sebum? You know, is it oily? You know, all of that comes into play. So whatever you was doing before is what you need to do now. Now, I do come from another point of view because I am a free form, totally like organic into naturalness and not, I don't use products. I don't use 
store bought products or whatever, like in my hair, as far as per se, like I'm a water rinse only person. And if you want to know more about water rinsing, um, I have videos up on this channel and it tells you more about water rinsing only. And it has worked for me for some years now. And that's what I do. And that means, no, I don't use shampoos. No, I don't, you know, I don't put products that you buy from the beauty supply store. You know, you might see me with a, a King James cap on or something I buy from the beauty supply store, but I don't buy it. I don't go in there and buy products and put all this different stuff in my hair. Yes, you need to keep your scalp clean. That's very important. So, you know, if you're just starting off or whatever and you don't want to disrupt like the pattern or say say that you're twist say that you've had your hair twisted. You could put like a, a, a cap on your head, like a stocking cap, something that the water can actually come through, flow through or whatever. And, you know, you could massage your scalp. Let's, let's say you do use shampoo um, so that the water won't, the, the water pressure will not disturb how your hair is or whatever. You can use like a, a stocking cap or something like that to protect it. You know, but you still need to keep your hair. Make sure your scalp is cleansed very well. Um, and yes, it can be done with water, but only if you're not using products in your hair. Number two, do not use beeswax what whatsoever. Don't let them. Don't let anyone ever tell you that beeswax is a part of the process. It's not a product. It's not a part of the process. It's not. If you're just starting and this is day one, day two, day thirty, whatever. You don't need to be concerned about styling. You know, the last thing you need to be worried about is, oh, how can I uh, style my hair? Can I, you know, how I, uh, <laughs> styling is not even the, the issue. Main thing is maintaining your hair and keeping it healthy, keeping your scalp healthy, um, which comes from number one, keeping your body hydrated, drinking plenty of water. Um, Two, being mindful of the things that you put into your body. Yes, that all plays in a, uh, a role in how your hair, skin, nails, everything moves, you know. Um, that's definitely important. Nutrition is so important. I talk about it a lot on my channel. I talk about it a lot here. Um, you have to be mindful of that. If you're sitting back eating bad food, and wondering why you have bumps on your, your your face or why your hair if you're not um, putting enough um, water into your body and you wonder why your hair is looking dry your skin is looking dry your nails are brittle and cracking and stuff you know you might want to check your diet you might want to check what you're putting in your body now again you know things change you know when when you're on medications and stuff you need to find out a lot of the side effects and see what's going on with that um, all of that comes into play. One of the main things too that I, I need for people to understand is patience. Patience, patience, patience. I can't stress it enough. If you don't have patience, this journey really is not for you because definitely I can't tell you how many times people have said, well, when is my hair going to lie? When, when, is, when is the dress going to form? When will I be considered matured? That's not even a, a, a major concern. You know, it's like, Stop you focusing on the wrong thing, you know, focus on everything one day at a time, you know, focus on the positive things and and stop worrying about the future, period. You got to have patience. That's, that's, that's very pertinent. Um, product usage does not take a million products to be natural. If you want to be natural, why are you becoming a slave to products? It does not take that. That's the whole thing about being, especially my, my people who are out here trying to free form. What's free about having to do this, do that? Definitely to my people that are trying to be free form or trying to rock free form Nazis. It's nothing free about having to go sit in somebody's chair. And that's totally different if you want manicure. Um, lots or so and you want to go to a loctician and you want to get your hair done it's the style for you but if it's going to be a lifestyle for you then these are some of the things that I, I need you to incorporate into your life you know 
We need nutrition. We need patience. We need to be mindful of the the people that we're listening to. You know, I get tired of people telling people wrong information, telling them to cut their hair or do this. You need to be confident because sometimes being natural, especially being an empress, you know, sometimes being natural is uncomfortable for people. And if you're not ready for it, then it's not that time. You know, don't do it because it's a fad. Don't do it because it's a trend or whatever. You know, do it because that's what you're feeling in your in your heart that you want to do. You know, because you will be faced with adversities and stuff. And, you know, how will you handle it? You know, will you crumble? Or will you, you know, move with it? For some people, it is a style. And, I, again, I'm perfectly cool with that I, I, I'm speaking to the people who are like okay I've made this decision I want to do this it's something I've thought about I thought about I knew when I finished styling hair been licensed since 1988 um, when I decided to retire from the hair game I knew that I wanted to have um, dreadlocks I knew that it took me seven years after I retired before I began on my journey, you know, because mentally I wanted to be prepared and want to be on that level, you know, that it was just like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. And spiritually, I was guided. I knew when it was time when I wanted to do it. It wasn't like, oh, I want to change my hairstyle today. Let me go ahead. This is the time for me to start my dreads. No. I just knew. I totally knew. You know, so be careful of the people that you're asking a lot of questions. Stop going into a lot of different chats. Stop going to a lot of different rooms, asking a million people a million questions, asking, you know, the same question to a whole bunch of people because, again, you will get a whole bunch of different answers. Um, find, find people that you gravitate towards and, you know, kind of link with them or whatever. See somebody, you know, with healthy hair on their head and the edges are still there and you know move with them it doesn't take 50 channels or 50 rooms you know for you to get the information that you needed let's not don't make it keep it simple keep it real simple that's the whole thing about being free that's the whole thing about being natural you want to keep it simple you i mean if you want to make it difficult then go ahead and Get a relaxer or, you know, put some color in your hair and go ahead and have to sit in a chair, in somebody's chair every week or every two weeks or whatever. But if you're on a freeform journey or whatever, you want to make it as simple as possible. You know, if people tell you that, that different things are needed or not needed, make sure that you do your research. Make sure that you, you know, that you totally understand, you know, products that are needed, products that are not needed. You know, there's nothing inside a beauty supply store besides like caps and stuff like uh, um, hair coverings or whatever that you will need. I mean, as far as products, nothing. You can go to a health food store and find a lot of stuff that you need. If you if you have to use like shampoos, if you're not into water rinsing only or whatever, you know, you can wash your hair with... Um, you can wash your hair with aloe. You can wash, you can wash your hair with um, cactus. You can. It's a lot of different natural things. Like people are always like, and I get so tired of it. It's like, um, <sighs> I don't want. I don't even want to put the name out there of this product that everybody swears by. You know, any product will cause a buildup on your hair. I don't care who is by or whatever. I have used some of the best of the best products in the hair game, and I noticed that when there was time, when there was time for me, when it was time for me to change, you know, because I would see a difference in my client's hair, it was time for me to change because it no longer performed for me the way that it needed to because it leaves some type of build up. Period. Any type of anything that comes. From, from a bottle that is processed, trust and believe it has chemicals in it, which also causes the hair to have a smell, which causes, um, see, when, you, when you're when you not putting chemicals on top of your, your, your hair, 
You don't have to worry about it. people are like, well, you water rinse only. I know your hair smells. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Even when I sweat, you know, yeah, it's a different scent than it is from when I water rinse when I start off or whatever. But it's not a negative smell, you know, as opposed to what a chemical would smell like when when you sweat and you're sweating out the shampoo or conditioner or whatever products that you may have used on your hair, styling aids and all that. It doesn't take um, twisting gels and all that type of stuff unless, you know, unless you want that totally tight look, manicured, whatever, you know, just all put together, whatever, and you want it in styles and all the different types of stuff. Then in that case, then yeah, but I, I'm speaking to the people that are on a free form journey. I'm not speaking to people necessarily that are um, into totally, you know, manicured locks. That's that's a whole nother thing, you know. Uh, it's so much. I can't put it all in one video. Just be mindful, you know, that it takes time. If I had to do a recap on it. First and foremost, patience, nutrition, least amount of products or no products or natural products, period. Um, make sure you get enough rest. All of that has an effect. Keep your hair covered when you're out in the elements and stuff. Um, or depending on what whatever type of work you do or whatever, you know, and, and going to bed at night. Cotton is not your friend. Wool, this time of year, a lot of people are wearing wool. Wool is not your friend. If your hair is hitting your shoulders or so and you're wearing a wool coat, wool will rub your hair right off your head. Just like cotton. Cotton, same way. If you land on cotton pillowcases and stuff, it can rub you the wrong way. Cotton draws the moisture out of your hair. That's why it's important to wear like stuff that's smooth and satiny or, you know, um, nylon tight, you know, stuff that's not going to draw the moisture out of your hair, not going to pull your hair. You know, if I wear like a, a head wrap or so that is a cotton blender or whatever, you better believe I have underneath that something to protect in my hair that is smooth and silky which i talk about my king j caps all the time or whatever you know or even the tubes that i, I use and, and they could be concealed um the tubes definitely can be concealed under like a wrap like this so that's when I, I would wear a tube you know because i know it's not um cotton is not pulling my hair it's you know it's it's more of a smoother blend but yeah, I would say, you know, when you're starting off, just 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 be keep it keep it real simple. Keep it real simple. Ask questions, but just don't ask a million people the same questions because you will be confused, you'll be twisted, you'll be diverted, you know, to a lot of different things. I've seen people talk about uh you should probably just cut your hair and start all over. If you want to be free form, you, you've been twisting for like a year or whatever. It's not true. I started off with two strand twists and definitely, as you can see now, I'm fully free form. Fully. And I didn't start free forming until like it had been probably about at least, oh God, I don't know how many years. I can't really say right now. But you don't have to cut your hair and start all over to be free form. To be free form, all you simply have to do is stop whatever process you were doing. Whatever technique you were, you were doing, just stop. It's that simple. So much more I could say, but that that's just, you know, I'm just touching the tip of the iceberg with it. You know, if you have questions, please feel free to leave them down below. If you have comments. If you have, if you're a person who's been rocking it, um, like I have for a while or longer, definitely, or even, you know, just have some time in it, in it, you know, please comment down below to give other people, you know, the truth about what you have gone through with your hair, and, you know, that's how we'll do it. Sorry. Um. Yeah. I I want to go ahead and end this video now. 
But again, you know, stay patient. Nothing happens overnight. It's not, you know, no, I can't tell you when your hair is going to lock. I have no idea. I, I, if that's one of your questions, I can't tell you. I have there's no possible way I can tell you that. I can't even tell you when mine's did. All I hear is different. All I hear is unique. There's no certain period of time. I can't say, oh, it starts at three months. Oh, it starts at six months. Oh, it starts at a year. It's a whole bunch of different factors that come into play when when that question is asked. So, and then you're not sitting in front of me and I don't care how many pictures I'm, I'm being sent. It's like, I cannot tell you when it will happen. Or when is your hair considered matured or whatever? It all it, it's all different for everybody. So with that being said, please everyone enjoy your holiday season. However you choose to do it, if you celebrate holidays or whatever, you know, remain at peace with yourself and others. Check out the description box. I have a lot of pictures on my Instagram page. I have a lot of pictures on my Facebook page. Um, and from, you know, just, just a lot of different things. You can hit me up on Snapchat. You can hit me up on Messenger. Um, if you want to check out some of my merchandise, everything is in the description box. I have a lot of ways you can hit me through email. I have a lot of different ways that I could be contacted. All right. So, and then check out some of the other videos. Check out a lot of my older videos and then you'll see how I evolved. You know, I, I didn't start YouTube in the very beginning because it wasn't even a YouTube, I don't think, when I started. How long has YouTube been around? Has it been around 16 years? If not, no. I, I definitely, I've only been on YouTube for going on 10 years. So, again, you know, check out some of the older videos and a lot of your questions will be answered. All right. Peace and love, everyone.